reality can be whatever I want. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here and Happy New Year and I hope you are all having a great start to your 2023. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the entirety of 2022 and I look forward to seeing what we do in 2023. Today we're going to go over actually everything that's going to be coming to the game in 2023 and the future and why we have a lot to look forward to. We're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado... Let's talk about the new year. So Apex Legends in 2023 is going to be changing the game in ways that we've never before seen in a brand new direction. We do know some basic stuff such as World's Edge is going to be getting a rework with the Fragment area and that the streamer buildings do seem to be taken out of the game. I believe it is Fragment West that will be impacted the most by this. This will also come with a Storm Point update in the near future where Watson will be getting a town takeover on the Lightning Rod location, which will be our first town takeover on the Storm Point map, which should also indicate it will be coming back for season 16. We also are finally getting our first new meta changing weapon into the game since the car smg we do know that it is finally going to be the nemesis which is a burst ar you fire it a couple times then once you hit it it goes fully auto and hopefully changes things quite a bit but in the opposite direction this will also be our first season without a brand new legend added and we do know that ballistic is coming next he was formerly known as caliber we've seen his abilities we know what he actually looks like now from this image right here you can read his abilities down below and there was actually some leaked screenshots of it as well however it does seem that from everything i've heard he's still not coming until season 17 most likely this is caused by the massive amount of meta changes within the game in terms of legends there's a great mock-up here bobs did where all the legends are classified in their correct order and you have the assault class the control class the recon class a skirmisher class and a support class which has been changed the most all with unique perks and abilities there's an entire class breakdown where skirmisher class now can see what's inside of care packages assault class get red loot bins and extra inventory for ammo i think it's 80 per stack is what was listed and with all these meta defining changes one other huge thing is coming and that's a skill-based match matchmaking rework which sammy duck the developer who actually handles the skill-based matchmaking said that it would be coming mid-december or new year but they will communicate more in the new year about this meaning that it did not happen in december if you think it did and that anytime after today we really should be hearing about what's officially happening with this there's also the leak that arenas might be permanently removed from apex legends nothing's been confirmed that this will be season 16 this could be in the future and we do know that respawn is considering adding gun run or control as a permanent playlist once arenas is removed if you've received any rewards from it before before, they're not going anywhere you'll still have all, all those items and arenas could be something that we see come back in ltms so that people's trackers don't become useless what we do know is coming in season 16 is the entire theme is around a party with a theme of beach mask and music and crow rindo let us know that they are for the season 16 battle pass collection and thematic event code names and this makes sense because we do know of another ltm called heat wave which would make sense for the party beach where every so often a wave of ring heat hovers over the entire map and if you are out of the doors you take damage care packages drop unique items items called sunglasses that prevent the damage the wording might change from the playtest to the final version there is one thing though that is a little interesting is that imperial house seemed to indicate that players may spawn or get respawned in if they get eliminated with ap 2020 i have not heard anything on my leak side from this so i can't confirm this at all it very well could happen to the game but i feel like this might kind of also be bait because imperial hal is definitely under an nda and would be in huge trouble with respawn if he leaked this so do take that with a grain of salt but hey it could happen we've seen weird things like this before what's What's most interesting is we might not get a map this season the next one i was told was coming in season 23 it's an angel style city map called district from titanfall 2 and it will allow for wall running and apparently this is when the fanatic will actually come into the game which is this right here which is dual wield and can actually be charged up and fired we've been waiting a very long time for this but what i think is most critical that we get right away in 2023 is also cross progression in the next gen update which players have been waiting for since i started making youtube videos back in season 7. josh medina let us know that they are still working working on it there's still an update but there's no official time frame still this is really in my opinion the highest priority that they need to do everyone's gonna have a different thing that they want worked on but me personally i just want promises that were told to us years ago to finally come to fruition it'll be interesting to see also next season what heirloom we get there's a good chance we get the horizon heirloom this is just a concept mock-up done by dilly dog great youtuber by the way horizon has been waiting a very long time and she's the oldest legend that has not received an heirloom yet there's also the possibility of fuse once again here is a concept those are the two most likely candidates i actually lean towards fuse as everything seems to be themed after party and i don't know i just view fuse more as a party guy than horizon but which one would you want to see most let me know down below what are you guys most looking forward to in 2023 and what do you think needs to happen and until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there